This is the Lee County Regional Airport in Hobbs. You can only fly to two places from there, Houston or Denver. That is until a Sunday night in August. Call it a different kind of flight from police. And listen, this is not slow-mo, friends. This is real time. The suspect was driving a baggage tractor. Yeah, the things they use to haul all your suitcases to your airplane. Top speed, 15 miles per hour. And meet the driver, Sebastian Rio Sierra, just turned 32 in July. Police say before he made off with the tractor, he crashed a stolen pickup through the airport gate and tried to steal a plane. Here he is with officers in... Well, shall we say, cold pursuit? Right down the heart of Hobbs. Officers, stay close. It really wasn't too difficult, really. That is a borderline illegal lane change if I've ever seen one. And the pursuit goes on and on and on. After nearly seven minutes, Sierra decided this was not enough excitement. So what's he do? He flips a U-turn. And it continues. He seems to be really enjoying himself. The pursuit moves through neighborhoods. So can you imagine looking out your window and seeing this? But just down the road, Sierra has a surprise waiting for him. Stop sticks. Suddenly, there wasn't much joy left in the joy ride. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Give us your hands now. Give us your hands now. The stop sticks did the job, as did the tasers. Once Sierra was in cuffs, it was time for questions. What's your name? How about that? Sebastian Rios, the President of the United States. Sebastian Rios? The President of the United States. The President of the United States, okay. There were other colorful outbursts directed at police, but I think you get the idea. He faces a host of charges, including battery on a police officer. Sebastian Rios Sierra was supposed to face a judge this morning, but the hearing was canceled. Both sides question whether he is mentally fit to continue with proceedings. We'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.